Pride Week in Victoria, the gay, lesbian, transgender and bisexual community is celebrating with dozens of events, culminating in the parade and festival this weekend. Pride organizers are quick to point out Canada is one of the most inclusive places in the world. But as Mary Beth Burton shows us, there is a segment of the rainbow population that still faces violence and ignorance. Arguably the city's most colorful festival launches this weekend with likely record numbers of 45,000 spectators. The Pride Parade has come a long way since the first unsanctioned event 16 years ago. They couldn't get a permit to parade on the streets, so they walked the sidewalk. Every year Pride Week grows, the society is finding strength in numbers. Where three years ago 15,000 people came to the festival and only four or five people put that together and rallied their friends and family to try and make it happen. Whereas this year we have 11 board members and 84 volunteers. Cherry Bomb Toys is flying a rainbow flag, competing for $6,000 in advertising, a contest launched by the Pride Society. I am a huge supporter of Pride, uh, growing up with my sister who is an open transgendered female. Um, and I thought it would be really important for us to show that we are proud of everybody. Even the Emperor approves. Now here's a place you might not expect a Pride celebration, Christchurch Cathedral. The Anglican Church suffered great rifts in its debate over homosexuality. I think we've done some good work on it uh, over the years and some not so good work, but now it's time to really celebrate. The Pride Society says Canada is a tolerant world leader, but there's one segment that's still being marginalized, the transgender community. They actually have less rights than that of the gay, lesbian and bisexual community. Daphne Crossman is the president of Camosun Pride. She's returning to school, an environment that in her teens saw her drop out over bullying by peers while teachers looked the other way. There is so much violence and stuff against trans people in, 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 our, in our current society. Crossman points out the suicide rate among transgender people is alarmingly high. She thinks fear and ignorance and a history of conforming to so-called societal norms is to blame for the alienation. Here's what Crossman feels all Canadians should embrace. Every single individual has the right to live their life as they deem necessary, as long as it brings no harm or, or impedes another. The Camosun Pride entry is an Alice in Wonderland theme. Crossman hopes the parade sends the notion of the traditional family down the rabbit hole, where everyone is accepted and respected. The Pride Parade goes Sunday at noon along Government Street and ends with a celebration at McDonald Park until 5 p.m. In Victoria, Mary Beth Burton, A News.